나처럼 groovy하게 나처럼 groovy하게 Since Red Velvet finally had a comeback, I thought it would be fun to try to break down their Queendom teasers and new music video to see any possible connections to a larger storyline. This is all just speculation for fun and shouldn't be taken too seriously. Let me know your own thoughts in the comments. Something Kinda Crazy was featured in the first Archive teaser and was released on their first mini-album. The teaser opens with the members entering a room with a doorknob featuring different zodiac signs. The arrow moves to the symbol for Gemini, which depicts twins. Geminis are characterized by the duality of their natures, which could be a nod to Red Velvet's red and velvet overarching dichotomy. But what if it's indicative of something more? We then see a cat appear with different colored eyes, just like the cat from Ice Cream Cake, which appears to lead the members to discover something. A VHS tape teasing the release of Queendom is then shown. We also see references to several of their previous music videos from the props featured, such as Dum Dum and Zimzala Beam. The next teaser is for I Just from their Perfect Velvet album. The cat leads Wendy to look into a magician's hat, only to find an alternate version of herself inside. Wendy stands in front of a card with the suit of hearts, showing the cat in place of what I presume would be the queen. This whole thing gives me Alice in Wonderland vibes. It feels like Wendy is being led down a rabbit hole like Alice is in the first chapter of the story. The card also features keys on the design, and Alice needs to be able to obtain a key in order to unlock the door which will take her to Wonderland. The next song featured is Talk To Me from their Rookie mini-album. The cat leads Yeri through a mirror to show her baking a cake on a livestream for Reveloves. The finished product looks exactly like the cake from Ice Cream Cake. However, the cat destroys the cake, leaving it looking like something from that hashtag cookie jar music video. As a recap, hashtag cookie jar shows the girls discovering a magical cookie jar in a forest, which leads them into a world full of sweets. I think the video shows them trying to recreate the recipe for the desserts using magic, but something goes awry, and their desserts get spoiled. I think it's worth noting that the jar features what looks like two cats on the lid, so maybe there's some sort of connection. Up next, we have Perfect 10 from their Perfect Velvet album. Unlike the previous two videos, the cat does not lead Irene to see the alternate version of herself. She is revealed to have inserted the VHS tape after Reeve, who's like Red Velvet's mascot I guess, knocks it down from the shelf. At the end of the video, we see a tail sticking out from the tub Irene is in, hinting that she is actually the cat. We'll get more into this later. We also see nods to Psycho with the sewing machine and Peekaboo with the painting. The cat once again comes back in the Bad Dracula teaser, leading Joy away from the wolf head in RBB and into some jungle. There's one shot where Joy has multicolored lenses like the cat, and at the end of the video, the frame around Joy falls to reveal the cat. I don't think this means that Joy is the cat though, I still think it's Irene for reasons I'll explain later, but the video does tease the supernatural theme of queendom. The final individual teaser is So Good from the RBB mini-album. The cat rolls a tennis ball into a box, which feels like a nod to Russian roulette. Sulky's alternate version is a tennis player whose shadow has the tail of a cat, and at the end of the video, the shadow fully shapeshifts into a cat. Again, I don't think this means Sulky specifically is a cat, I think it means that the real cat, Irene, is able to morph into the other members and uses it as a means of enticing them into entering her world. The project wraps up with the teaser of Kingdom Come from their Perfect Velvet album. The members unite while the cat, 
who's now much larger than them, overlooks them. My guess is that this change in size is once again some sort of nod to Alice in Wonderland. Alice drinks a potion which shrinks her in order to fit through the door to Wonderland. This contrasts with their mood simpler, in which the members are abnormally large compared to their surroundings. After Alice drinks the potion, she realizes she forgot to get the key to open the door, and eats a cake which causes her to grow extremely big in order to reach it. Since this teaser series was meant as a precursor to Queendom, I also think that this serves as an introduction to Red Velvet's version of Wonderland. Okay, now onto the actual video for Queendom. The basic storyline is that the members are part of a magical postal service. Yeri is new to being a witch, so the other members are teaching her how to use her powers, and she eventually gets promoted out of her trainee status. Again, we see hints about the cat's involvement in the music video. When Yeri walks into the delivery room, she leaves paw prints behind. My guess is that Irene was the one who led her into the world, as she's later shown instructing Yeri on how to use magic. One of Irene's outfits bears resemblance to a black cat, which symbolizes witchcraft, wearing a fluffy boa placed in a way that looks like a tail. She also has colored contacts appearing to be similar to the ones the cat wears in the teasers and ice cream cake. I think in this case, Yeri is supposed to draw parallels to Alice, and Irene is supposed to be the white rabbit that leads her down the rabbit hole, or the sewer, I guess. To further support this, Irene has two representative animals while part of Red Velvet, a cat and a rabbit. I guess in Red Velvet's world, the cat and rabbit are supposed to be the same person. While the music video gave me Zinzala Beam vibes at first, I ultimately think that this magical concept is more similar to hashtag cookie jar. The members are even shown with orbs that look similar to the ones used in that music video. Speaking of orbs, remember in EXO's power music video, the orbs are meant to be a representation of the members' superpowers. I think it would be interesting if Red Velvet somehow ended up getting Baekhyun's orb and found a way to harness it for themselves, as he's missing throughout most of the music video. The other members' plans are ruined by a cat until Baekhyun brings back his orb and saves them, so maybe that has something to do with Irene. As I mentioned in one of my earlier theory videos, I think Irene is meant to be more of a villain figure within the SM cinematic universe, just probably not the main one. In the music video for Black Mamba, we see a woman standing over Karina, who I think is supposed to be the snake shown later on in the video. I'm guessing both are shapeshifters, the difference is that Irene uses magic, while Black Mamba somehow uses technology to manipulate her appearance. There was no mention of the Kwangya in this song, unlike most of SM's groups, so I'm not sure they want to tie Red Velvet storyline specifically to, say, Espa or NCT. I still think it could work in the context of EXO, though, since their Mama music video introduces the idea of parallel universes. One other thing I wanted to point out was that the cat from the teasers reminded me of the cat from FX's Red Light music video. I don't know if it was intentional, but the multicolored eyes stood out to me, so I wonder if there's a connection between those groups. From this, I think SM is going to kind of divide groups' storylines into two different universes. One will contain groups like Red Velvet, FX, and Girls' Generation, who probably won't be very involved in the futuristic superhero concept. Remember, in MAMA, EXO created two parallel universes, but I'm guessing the one that was under EXO-M's protection was destroyed at some point. I think the groups I mentioned earlier will have their storylines in this universe, representing events of the past. I think the other universe, which SM will focus on with their cinematic universe, will contain artists like Espa, Super M, NCT, and Taemin, and will focus on the events of the future. EXO will probably play a role in both universes as their concept is the basis for both realms. 
That brings us to the end of this video. Let me know your theories in the comment section, plus share your thoughts on Red Velvet's comeback. Thank you so much for watching.